I think it's pretty safe to say that as of right now, there is a divided audience for The Rise of Skywalker. Definitely not quite as bad as The Last Jedi's, but there's still a divide of fans on those who hate The Rise of Skywalker and those who love The Rise of Skywalker. It doesn't really seem to be as unified as it was for The Force Awakens, where a lot of people thought it was a generally entertaining movie, where The Last Jedi was a movie that had a lot of backlash, and now with The Rise of Skywalker being split. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, because of all this, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are going through a very tough and challenging process, and that is, of course, creating a brand new Star Wars universe and a brand new mythology of Star Wars films. These three new Star Wars movies coming in the 2020s of this decade. Now, the thing about the new Star Wars universe is that Disney and Lucasfilm are actually currently finding ways in order to really make it up to the fans and to repay the fans after what was done with the sequel trilogy. Now, the sequel trilogy, say what you will about it, but it does have its highlight moments. Like I say, it's got its moments just like the prequel trilogy has got its moments. But there's one thing that you can say about the sequels is that there's a lot of inconsistencies within these movies. And some of the continuity just, just does not match up at all in any way, shape, or form at times. Now, with that being said, between Disney and Lucasfilm, and especially Disney, it's explained that Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing a brand new Star Wars universe that will kickstart sometime in March of this year to create a brand new expanded universe of Star Wars material. Now, it said that both Disney and Lucasfilm realize that they made many mistakes with the sequel trilogy films and that they are now developing a brand new expanded universe as a way to repay the fans by bringing back the old EU and retelling many of the stories as accurate as possible. Also, they plan to incorporate live action TV series based on fan favorite characters on Disney Plus, also as a way to repay the fans and to reunite the f uh, and to reunite the Star Wars community once more as they were divided over the choices made with the Last Jedi by director Ryan Johnson and what Kathleen Kennedy had approved. This is their way of showing support for the fans by providing more fan service in their upcoming TV shows and live action shows as well, where it's said that Disney and Lucasfilm are constantly looking for ways to make it up to the fans with the issues that they had made with the sequel trilogy, with The Last Jedi, and the rushed production of The Rise of Skywalker that led to a series of deleted scenes during the reshoots of the film as well as the rewrites. Now, Kathleen Kennedy is said to no longer be involved with future projects on a creative level, and that John Favreau from this point forward will have a big say in the matter about how future projects should be handled and will play a large role in the creative decisions for Disney's future Star Wars projects to come, both on Disney Plus and for, th and for theatrical releases. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this seems like a light at the end of the tunnel. And the reason as to why I believe so is John Favreau is the man. I mean, there's no denying it that this guy is the next George Lucas. And even Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, realizes this because of what he has done with Star Wars The Mandalorian. There's a reason why The Mandalorian is so good. It's not just because of Jon Favreau, but in case you guys did not know, Kathleen Kennedy had little to no involvement with the creative decisions of those episodes, all eight episodes. It's one of the reasons as to why the that actual series is very, very well done, very well edited, the cinematography is beautiful, uh, the lore is amazing, and it's one of the main reasons as to why we have a lot of Star Wars Legends tie-ins as well that are now being made canon. But I want to go over Disney's choice of making Jon Favreau have a say in the matter of how some of the Star Wars projects should be done in the future. Again, guys, like I say, this is their way of repaying the fans or trying to make it up to the fans to create more authentic Star Wars projects. And what I mean by more authentic Star Wars projects is that Star Wars movies and TV shows that are more catered to Star Wars fans rather than the actual general audience. And what I mean by the general audience is, of course... Non-Star Wars fans that are just getting introduced to this thing, that are not really looking for anything in particular. Now, that's what I mean by this, is that they're trying to really bring in lots of fan service, they're trying to please the hardcore fans, and even the casual fans. 
Now, originally, Bob Iger had a plan in place for the future Star Wars films where they wanted to only cater it to the general audience, general moviegoers, if you will. People that really don't know anything there is about Star Wars and are not really looking forward to anything in particular. However, that has since changed a couple of weeks ago because of what happened with The Rise of Skywalker and the box office results. It's not too bad, honestly. I mean, they're doing pretty decent at the box office. It could be better. They may or may not, you know, top The Last Jedi's domestic, you know, numbers over in the United States. But, with that being said, how they're trying to make it up to the fans by developing a brand new Star Wars universe, bringing back the old EU and retelling those stories as accurate as possible is their first step. The second step is, of course, making these new projects like TV shows and movies more catered to hardcore Star Wars fans and to Star Wars fans that really know Star Wars down to the core. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.